Our planet, Earth, home to more than six billion people, and it's warming. In the summer of 2007, the polar ice cap melted at a record rate, and we're just beginning to understand the impact of greenhouse gases. Scientists predict global warming will accelerate over the next 50 years as carbon emissions double. The situation is not hopeless. There is no silver bullet, but a Princeton University study found there were steps we can take to reduce or even stop the increase of carbon emissions. Approached incrementally, we can eliminate 8 billion metric tons of CO2 over 50 years, leveling off the growth of carbon and putting the Earth on a safer path. We can meet this goal using technology that's already available, such as conservation, carbon capture, biofuels, and wind power. One of the most promising technologies may come as a surprise. Broadband applications and high-speed internet access have the potential to cut emissions radically. Broadband can change the way we work, shop, and communicate. Think about your daily commute. A typical American creates five tons of carbon emissions every year from driving. And there are 247 million cars in the U.S. alone. But telecommuting can cut automobile travel substantially. And there are other ways broadband can help. Students can attend class without leaving home. Teleconferencing can replace some driving and air travel. E-commerce is another promising development. Shopping online uses 14 times less energy than going to the store and reduces the demand of energy use in retail stores and warehouses. Electronic communication means less paper and less mail conserving energy, and saving trees. The American Consumer Institute estimates widespread broadband use would reduce carbon emissions by more than a billion metric tons. But the promise of broadband can only be fully realized through widespread use. Currently, only half of American households subscribe to high-speed internet service. To deliver a real change, we need to get a lot more people connected. We need to upgrade networks, while keeping prices low. And we must encourage wider broadband adoption through investment and innovation without facing unnecessary interference. Confronting global warming will be an immense challenge, but if we all do our part, we can make a difference. <laughs>